good morning it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood and we are ready to start a brand new week of ebony ivy and thyme in the kitchen stay tuned this week in our kitchen we are going to love on our family and we are going to make delicious warm dishes not necessarily warm as in heat but we are going to make some dishes that will warm the hearts of those that we love so if you're interested in what i'm doing in my kitchen i invite you to come and to be a part of our family i welcome you every evening to to be a part of what we're doing and uh, i pray that you are well and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the kitchen. This is going to be an easy, quick dinner. And um, because we've got some other things going on tonight, so I need to whip it up and get it going. Now, I want some chili dogs. I have been dying for chili dogs. Don't ask me why. But anyway, that's what I'm going to be preparing tonight, my version of chili dog. When you're in the middle of the summer and your air conditioning goes out, that is the last straw. And today, we are dealing with a broken air conditioner. Now, as I'm working on this meal, the repairman is working on our air conditioner and so uh, while he's got it a little bit cool it's still not as cool as it should be so guys i have added to the oven carolina pride's smoked sausages and that's what we're going to be using tonight because rather than just regular hot dogs the big guy wanted the, the sausages so that's what we're going with now they're in the oven under the broiler i'm going to let them cook until they're nice and toasty and mine i even like just a little tiny bit charred so i'm going to let that go my here in my container i have um our chili sauce that we made a little bit earlier I am in the process of cutting up some onions, some tomatoes, I have some, um, uh, sweet, I have some sweet pickle relish, some mustard, and whew, that's what I forgot. This needs a dash of mustard before it goes too long. Let me add that to, the, to this skillet. Wow, how can I forget the mustard? Now it's nice and hot, it looks good, tastes good, but I like just a dab of mustard in there. And I'm gonna put, that's what I'm gonna put in there, just a little bit. And it just gives it a little kick. And it's not really, it's not a heat, hot and spicy kind of kick, but it does give it, I'm gonna call it a unami type of taste that we're gonna add to that. And uh, this is going to be so good. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to let that continue to simmer until the sausages are ready and the big guys uh, finish uh, following around the air conditioning repairman. And then we're going to be ready to sit down to a nice hot dinner with some cold beverages and we're going to enjoy the evening well guess what dinner is about to be served so have a blessed evening and i'll see you tomorrow in the kitchen oh my god can you see this it is absolutely beautiful we are about to dive into this schnitzel with a creamy sauce with our potatoes, some green beans, and dinner is served.
Well, today I am making a strawberry banana bread. And if you're interested in seeing how quickly this comes together, now I'm purposely, because I'm doubling the batch I'm using, my mixer, under normal circumstances, just for one single uh, loaf, I would do it by hand. But since I'm going to double it, I'm going to save time, use the mixer, and I will give you the recipe below, and I will include the one loaf recipe with the measurements for, of course, all you do is just double for the second loaf. But anyway, you'll have that available as well. So, strawberry banana bread tonight. Well, let's get ready to mix. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to add in a cup of oil. Now let me tell you what's it would add the recipe actually called called for a half cup of vegetable oil. And I decided that I wanted since I'm doubling it, I wanted a half cup of vegetable oil, but I also wanted a half cup of butter. So I've got a combination of the two that I'm going to place into my mixer. I'm going to put that in. Let me get my my spatula. I can get all of it out. I don't want to leave any in the, in the container. There we go. I've got a sink full of water here to be able to receive the dirty dishes. Now, I've got my oil there. I've got uh, a half cup of sugar that I've added in as well. And I'm going to need four large eggs. Now, I usually only buy the extra large, so guess what? That's what I'm using, extra large eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and get this ready. I'm going to turn it on low, so it's going to be a little bit noisy. Turn it and take that off. Toss those in. Okay. Hope I have it in the right place. We'll see in a minute. That's for sure. Oop. I'll bring you back. Hey, okay, we're ready to go. Yes, he's noisy. All right, one, two, three. Time to do a little folding. Let's fold those nuts in. This is going to be so good. Lots of almonds. You could have used pecans. You could have used walnuts. The world's your oyster. Whatever nut you're familiar with and you like, that's what you could use. You could add sunflower seeds if you had them. There's just all kinds of things. We could put in some raisins, but the big guy's not a big fan of raisins. And since I'm doing the strawberries and I want them to be the star, I'm not going to add anything else. I'm going to let this stand on its own. I think it's going to be pretty and I know it's going to taste good. So let's get it ready for the pans. I'm using a clean paper towel. And I'm going to moisten it with oil, like that, and I'm going to use that to oil my dish. I think I'll just stream a little in there, just a little, Ooh, got a little too much, but the towel will soak it up, okay, and wipe down the dish. 
because I really don't want to mess and I don't want it to, to stick. Okay, now let's get it ready to go in. Make sure you can see, kind of turned a little bit on me. Oops, I'm losing you. Okay, now let's smooth it out a little bit. Have a nice top. Now, if you wanted, you could use some of those almonds and just kind of uh, sprinkle them around. I think what I'm going to do is to take some of mine and I'm going to use some of the whole almonds. Look like little flowers. Four. There we go. And let's do one over here. We'll have our summer garden right here in our pan. And then just kind of put a few, few here and there. Can you tell we like almonds? Okay, well the big guy does anyway. So there we go. That's kind of cute. There's some over there. Some over here. I'm going to get him over there, some right there, smattering little bits and pieces here and there. I got that one over there, push him over, and there, and there, and there. There we go. Now, we're ready to go. It's ready to go in a 350 degree oven for probably a good hour. I'll bring you back.
I am going to fix a chicken noodle soup. I wanted some, and you know, I told you on the days that the big guy golfs, he needs something that's fairly light. And he loves soup, so I'm putting in one cap of oil. Now you can tell just by looking how it started to smoke and simmer that oil is ready, so, or the pan is ready. It's nice and hot. I am going to add in here some um, onion, celery, lots of chicken. vegetables along with the noodles. All right, so I got this ready. I've got onions coming from all directions of little bits of onions that I've had. So all of my little pieces of onions, this is a good way of getting rid of the things that you've cut up. Uh, remember I had a rotisserie chicken the other night. I only used a portion. So all of those bones and pieces are going to go into this pot. In fact, I'm just going to turn it over and put that in. Now, we need water. Now I'm going to use broth rather than water because I want to add that extra bit of flavor. I'm going to use a whole box of chicken broth and this broth, let's see, there's uh, 32 ounces. That's just to get us started. And you know I'll add as we go because we're going to need enough moisture for the noodles to cook because I'm going to cook the noodles right here in this pot. I'm going to let this come up to temperature. I've added the Trinity. i got onions. I've got uh, celery. I've got carrots. I've got chicken. I'm turning the heat up on the pot. I am getting ready to add in some more water to cover all of this. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt to begin. And then, I will add more. Okay, that's my teaspoon of salt. Then I'll start to add pepper and all those good things to the mix. So, this is going to be a quick weeknight chicken noodle soup. It's going to have over an hour to cook and to simmer. I'm going to kind of keep it at a good boil uh, for a while and I'm going to put the top on it so it can contain itself. And uh, you know what? Dinner is going to be delicious. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. So let me get those and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I got my seasonings. I'm going to put in probably a good scoop not a not, not a real teaspoon yet uh, well I think I probably need it I'm gonna do a teaspoon of our seasonings because the pasta is going to soak up an awful lot now I'd like to add just a little bit a touch of paprika into mine and the reason for that is because of the fact that the paprika gives it a really nice color so i'm going to sprinkle a little paprika and if i can find some turmeric i'm going to also throw in some of that into this soup and it's going to give it great flavor uh let's see i want garlic we need some extra garlic and uh, let me get that. Okay, I've got my garlic. I'm going to put about a half teaspoon of garlic in. We need lots of seasoning. And I did not have any turmeric. Oh, yes, I do. I have some turmeric. 
So turmeric is so good for you. So I'm putting in a good, I'm going to say a teaspoon of turmeric. And the only thing I have not added in is pepperoncinos. And you know I'm going to put some of those in. I have some already. They are ready to go. I'll sprinkle some in. Okay. That's good to go. That's about a half teaspoon of pepperoncinos, little red red pepper flakes, and um, my seasonings are ready. Salt's in there. Um, let me add some more broth, and we'll be ready to put the top on it and let it go. Okay, I have another 32-ounce box of chicken broth. I'm using chicken broth really because of the fact that this isn't going to have all day to cook. Okay, I've got that in there. Now, actually, I'm going to add about three more cups of water. And in fact, I think what I'll do is just fill this bottle with water, or this box with water, and add that in. Okay, now this is just water that I'm adding in. But remember, I've got chicken bones in here, and they are going to just come together well. I'm not using the entire box. I probably used about a half of this box of water. And the reason I want so much liquid is because once I add that pasta in, of which I'm not going to do until about the last 10 minutes, then it's going to take up some of that moisture. But I want everything to be well seasoned and ready for dinner. Now what we're going to do is that once this comes up to a boil, it needs to cook for a solid hour. I mean, it really needs a pretty good hard simmer and I'm gonna let it go for an hour. Now, the chicken I'm gonna to have to take out, especially that that's on the bone. All those bony pieces that I put in there and I want them to impart their flavor, I'm gonna to have to take all of that out and I'm going to take the chicken off the bone. I have a little bit of extra chicken that I'll throw in there as well. Then I'll give it about 30 more minutes and throw in the pasta. So this is going to be a great pan of soup. I'm going to use a slotted spoon at this point to um, take the chicken bones and the pieces out so I can take all the meat off. There's some chicken that's in here that's already kind of fallen off the bone, and that's fine. I'm just going to lay those over there. See, there's one. He's pretty bony already. That's fine. Those bones have had a chance to uh, impart their flavor. Just need to pull the meat off and chop it up. I left these pieces because when I was making the chicken salad because I knew it would be so good in our uh, soup. So there we go. Got a little bit of uh, skin. I want to take that out. Kind of have to catch things because they're swimming around, giving up their flavor. There we go. There he is. Knew there were two. Some more of the skin. And I'll throw all the vegetables back in as soon as I put the chicken in. Okay. One more piece. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. All right, I'm going to cover this. I'm going to let it continue to work. And I am going to work on the whole plate. See if you can see it. A whole plate of chicken that's sitting over there. So I'll bring you back. All right, I'm going to take the top off. You'll see the breads come out. 
and it's a little warm. Ooh. Got a rolling boil going here. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I'm going to add in all of those vegetables and the chicken that I pulled off the bones. All that's coming. Oh, this looks so rich. And I'm going to toss these since I don't have a dog. And you would really wouldn't want to give the dog this anyway. Dogs and little bones don't agree. Okay. Now is the time to add some pasta. And I am using a handful of thin spaghetti that I have broken into like little two inch pieces. I've got that handful in. I'm going to give it a good swish. Might find little pieces. There's a little a bit of skin that I missed. And you'll find things that you miss. It's okay. Just get it out. Now, give this a good turn. I'm trying to decide if I need a little more. I'm thinking, yes, I probably do. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, I'll put those in. Now, I think that's going to be enough for this pot. Okay. Now, I am going to leave this on low and let it simmer until time for dinner. Voila! Okay, now this is on low. I'll probably cut it up just a tiny bit, but I want to add a few peas in. Just a little bit. You know, greens are always good. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Now, the pasta is still working. As you stir, you find. Okay. It's a neck. It's a little hot. Okay. Top on. Low simmer. And. When I take this pot off the next time, we're going to be ready to sit down to dinner. Are you ready to see what tonight's dinner is going to look like? Well, here she is. We have delicious chicken noodle soup, homemade by Mama. So, tonight, we're going to have chicken noodle soup, we've got delicious bread, we ha even have, I threw in a few chicken wings just for something extra, and dinner is served. Wow, what a week! The kids are out, they are ready for vacation, and are you feeling the exhaustion already? To each of you, I pray that you have good vitamins because those kiddos are ready for everything that you can possibly put out. Now, I am hoping that you will take the time to subscribe down below and that you will come back next week and that you'll tap that bell so you can receive notices and know exactly when I upload. Next week we may have some surprises 
and we may do a few things a little differently in our kitchen so stay tuned come back next week and i look forward to seeing you in my kitchen be blessed